darling. The Sarasop show is about to start. Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. For you herbal tea lovers, we have something special for you today. We'll show you how we get dry sarsop leaves and turn them into tea bags for easy use. How is it done? Well, hopefully when we finish the process, which I'll show you a little bit later, we'll end up with tea bags that look like this. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope that everything turns out just right. But rather than have a long and lengthy explanation on how that's done, why don't I just show you guys and you'll see how it's done for yourselves. So let's not waste any time and let's have a look. When you're done with your tea making, do you mind if we have a cup of tea? Sure, I was hoping you'd ask. So let's go now and see how it's done. Really nice. She's an android, by the way. <laughs> let's go. This is the government approved facility, Genesis Teas. Let's go inside. The first thing that we need to do is to thoroughly uh, clean our hands from any bacteria. Hygiene is essential when producing herbal teas or any kind of uh, food stuff for that matter. So it takes a little bit of time but we ensure that hygiene protocols are kept at high standards. We don't want our customers getting sick because we didn't uh, follow the directions set by the health department. So we put our jacket on and we put our uh, surgical gloves on the surgical gloves actually have uh, a type of powder which helps uh, prevent moisture from causing fungus on the, on the gloves. So once we've put the gloves on, we then uh, spray alcohol onto the gloves and uh, thoroughly uh, wipe the, the gloves and uh, the fingers and, and the palms and the back of it. So to make sure that no uh, none of this powder will actually come off and uh, contaminate anything that we're touching. Now it'll take a couple of minutes to do that. Behind you is a stainless steel roaster. It's a uh, 304 uh, grade stainless steel, food grade stainless steel. And we'll be roasting the soursop leaves for about uh, depending on the weight, but for, for every kilo, it's about two hours. So I think the batch that we have now is about just under three quarters of a kilo. So it will be about one hour and 45 minutes roasting time. I'll stop the video at some stage during that process so that you're not getting bored watching it for a couple of hours. And then when it's finished, I'll come back and uh, resume the video. So now I'm getting the stainless steel bowl which we put the leaves in. The first bowl. Uh, I think there's about six bowls to, to uh, about 750 grams, 700 grams. Bowl number two. The soursop leaf has a very low density and one kilogram of dried soursop leaf takes up quite an, or, an enormous space. Uh, one kilogram would practically fill this, this roaster, uh, be about three quarters full. So uh, soursop leaf is, uh, has a very low density. So we'll put in another few bowls and, and then we'll start the roaster. I think that's bowl number five. 
And the lucky last one. To get the dry soursop leaves, you need to uh, dry them in the shade for about a week. Do this up nice and tight. Turn on the gas. We do a, a more gentle roasting for a longer period than rather than having a a very high roasting temperature for a short time. This way, uh, by doing it at a lower temperature, it helps pre preserve the, the, the benefits of the herbs. Okay, so we'll roast this for about an hour and three quarters. And when it's finished, we'll come back. Okay, so that's done. We'll just check the soursop leaf to see if they're uh, dry enough, that they've been roasted sufficiently to remove any residual moisture. Just be careful when taking the lid off because it's quite hot, so you just lift it off from the edge using the, uh, your hands on the edges there. Just crush the leaves up and have a look. Yes, they are uh, dry enough and to put through the grinder. But before we do that, we'll just turn on the, the roaster and allow the leaves to cool down. Okay, that's done. These are the meshes that we use when we grind it. The meshes are of different sizes depending on the fineness of the um, final grinding that you want. And, and this is the airbag and the product bag. So what we do is we put the, the longer bag is the bag which the uh, product will go into and the shorter bag is the airbag. So we'll connect all this up, make sure you have a board there so that you, your product doesn't fall onto the ground. So this is quite simple, we just uh, slip that over the, the mouth of the exit point for the product. And we just fold the end of this bag over and put a clip on it. Make sure it's nice and firm there no gaps for the product to fall out and we just use a clip to fasten that like that and then we put the airbag on at, at the top opening there and we have a little uh, uh, prop there to keep it upright Now, make sure when you're doing anything like this that you have your power turn off and your plug removed. There is a safety cutoff switch, but you know, if it doesn't work, you could end up really having a nasty injury. Okay, we'll close this up, tighten up the butterfly nuts. The grinding process here, uh, for those bowls, it'll probably take about 15 minutes. So I'll just do one, one bowl, and then uh, stop the video and do the rest. And then when that's finished, come back and resume the video. Okay, now that that's done, we can put the plug in. Okay, let's let's start it up and check that everything is running as it should. The airbag is puffed up, which is good, showing that there's good airflow. Okay, let's grind this up. I'm just crushing the leaves and making them a bit smaller, because this is a traditional Chinese 
herbal medicine grinder, which is mainly used for smaller uh, leaves and roots and stalks of plants, ra rather than these uh, larger soursop leaves. So if you're using, uh, using it for soursop leaves or leaves, uh, mulberry leaves, for example, which have, are about the span of your hand, um, you need to just crush it up a little bit to make the pieces smaller, make it more flaky. So do that for a, about a minute or so. You can see just by crushing that up how the contents of that bowl seem to be the level is dropping down. So you can see how, as I mentioned earlier, the sour soft leaf has a very low density. Just about done here. Just got this uh, spatula here to just uh, help help it flow down into the, the mouth of the grinder there. The gratings that we used for this were the largest, largest two. If we just use the, the large one without the secondary one, it would too, be too fibrous and then it wouldn't work well in the uh, bagging machine. So when, when we use two, the, the, the largest uh, grating and the second largest one, the, the soursop which comes out after being ground is, is not too fine, but it's dusty but it's not too fibrous, so it's just the right uh, level of uh, fineness, or coarseness, however you want to say it, so that it doesn't jam up the, uh, the bagging machine. Okay, well that's finished. We'll weigh this uh, sow sop and see exactly how much we got. There's gonna be a little bit of wastage uh, because of moisture, loss but we have 744 grams so we should be able to get about 10 packets of sour sop tea with this amount um, assuming that each pack has 30 tea bags in in it and each tea bag has a minimum of two grams net weight So now we're going to pour about 200 to 300 grams of sour sop into this small bowl, which we will then uh, put into the bagging machine. Okay, this is the tea bagging machine. It can do about uh, between six to ten tea bags a minute, depending on how how much product you're putting in the bag. It takes about five minutes to warm up. The temperature of the sealing jaws is 250 degrees C. There are two sets. There's a vertical uh, sealing and a horizontal sealing and cutting. The vertical seals the side of the bags and the horizontal seals the uh, bottom of the bag and also cuts it. So I've set the, the weight for the tea bags at two grams. So two grams of sour salt should go into there, a minimum of two grams. At the moment, I'm just purging the machine of any residual product. It's set to two grams, but there's not much left in there. So it will try to purge whatever's left. We, we don't want any residual product in the tea bag. 
because it may be another herb that we were doing before. So once that is purged and the tea bags are clear, then we can put our soursop product in. You also check for the sealing of the bags, the side and the top, make sure it's not uh, splitting open. We don't want herb coming out of the tea bag. And we'll put back this safety cover on. We just took that off temporarily to check that everything was functioning okay. You should always have the safety cover on because the temperature of those jaws is 250 degrees C, which could give a very nasty burn and it could also actually cut your finger off the, the lower one because uh, that's what cuts the tea bag as well. So you could have a nasty uh, wound, either a crushing wound or, or a cutting wound. So always make sure you put that cover back on. Now I'm just adjusting the length of the tea bag here. You can go down to about four centimeters in length and go up to about 15. Um, we use seven here, but if you want to decrease it, you can. And that number there, flashing two, was three, was the number of bags that we tested. So we'll reset that to zero. And now we'll, we'll put the product in the, the tea machine bowl here. Just make sure when we put it in, you don't just pile it up. Just put it in and then uh, just level it out a little bit. That will help give a decent uh, flow into the machine. This machine uh, works on gravimetric measurement. That is, it weighs it rather than a volumetric measurement because uh, herbs have different densities. It's not like teas where you have a black or a green tea and the density doesn't change that much between the two. But with herbs, the density can vary significantly. So to ensure that we get the right amount of herb into the tea bag, we weigh it. We have a machine that weighs it and we adjust the length of the tea bag to suit. Just check the uh, tea bags there to make sure that it's sealing properly and no product is coming out through the top or the side. So it looks okay, sealing okay. So now we'll reset that back to zero and we can start making the tea bags. So for 10 packets of soursop tea, there'll be about 300 tea bags. So I'm not going to bore you having this machine do 300 tea bags. I'll stop the video shortly and come back to it when it's ne nearly finished so that you can see how the tea bag machine actually dispenses the herb into the into the tea bag. We'll get a close up here on the uh, the jaws of the machine in a moment. So there's about a hundred tea bags or so there. Okay, this roll of filter paper can do about thirty thousand tea bags. So that's the horizontal jaws and ceiling. High temperature there and very sharp jaws. Wouldn't want to get your finger caught in there. So we have about um, over 100 tea bags there. Hundred and fifty, in fact. So when the 
tea bagging is nearly finished, I'll come back and resume this video. So we have about maybe four or five bags left there. And we've got 312 at the moment. And you can see how the soursop is spiraling around. It works on a, a spiral vibration system to fill the tea bags. So we've got 318 tea bags now. The next step is to put these tea bags into small plastic packets before we put them in the final Ziploc pack for sale. So we've changed process, so we'll just use the alcohol again. We also have to do a quality check on the weight of, of the tea bags to see that it complies with what we've put in our labelling on our packets. So we'll take about five or six bags at random to see whether they are at least two grams. This is a uh, health department requirement that we, uh, what we say is on the packet is actually what they're getting at the minimum. So we've got 2.34 grams there, so that's okay. Two point three five grams, that's okay. Two point five one grams, that's okay. Two point four three, good. And one more. Two point four seven grams. And the last one, two point three three grams. So we're well within the requirements of the health department. We can always give more, but you can never give less. So now we'll pack these up into these small plastic uh, Ziploc pack, packs. And once that's done, we'll come back and we will put them into big Ziploc packs, which are resealable. So the last, uh, second last step is to put our labelling on our packaging. So the requirement is that you make it clear what the product is, how to use that product, the net weight or volume. And contact details. This is very important, this step, because um, it is a requirement that when we put the labeling on our product, that it is not misleading in any way. Health benefits cannot be stated on the packaging unless you have scientific uh, proof or the quantities of each of the the organic compounds which give those benefits be listed. But as a tea manufacturer, a herbal tea manufacturer, that is a little bit beyond the scope of our labelling. So we keep it nice and simple. We don't put any uh, medical claims on the packaging. People who purchase SourSoft know what the benefits are. When we change process, we use the alcohol. So now we're going to put uh, six packets, six of these small packets, which consist of five tea bags in one of these big black Ziploc packs to make up the 30 tea bags. Two. Four, five, 
six. And it just fits nicely. There's enough room there to close it easily. And there we go, there we have it. Genesis South Op T. On the reverse side of the uh, Ziploc pack there, we have our story, it's how we uh, came into existence and what motivated us to do this business. Basically, we started this business because we realised that uh, many people in society were becoming ill because of lifestyle and things they were eating, and we wanted to help people by showing them that natural products had a lot of health benefits. So we started off with uh, Soursop tea and then we ended up doing a variety of other herbal teas and eventually we introduced uh, black and green tea in our list of uh, teas. So after this, the final step is actually the sealing because we need to seal this uh, pack to prevent any moisture or anything from getting into it. So that's the next step. And that last pack that's on the tray, we'll use that to uh, give our guests a cup of uh, sour soft tea. It. So we've got 10 packs of uh, Soursop tea out of about 744 grams of product. So you can see there is a little bit of uh, attrition and uh, you don't get the full amount because the weighing machine goes about 2.3 to about 2.5 grams. So you have to add that into your calculation if you're doing a, a batch lot for an order for someone. So here we are now are at the last stage, uh, the sealing. So this is a, a foot pedal sealer with a bar that has a heated element, which uh, when under pressure, will seal the, uh, the, bag, the top of the bag. There's a, a knob there that you can adjust the temperature. So if it's getting a little bit hot, you need to readjust it. Otherwise you could melt the top of the uh, the package there which you don't want. If you have it at the nice uh, temperature then it will give a good seal and will look nice as well. So that's just about it. The lucky last one I think here. And then once this is done we'll go off and have a cup of sour soft tea with our guests. So there we have it. That's how you make sour sop tea from leaf to tea bag. How do you steep the tea? Oh yes. Could you explain to everyone that's watching how you steep the tea? Sure, it's, it's quite simple actually. Uh, all you do is boil water and then uh, once it's boiled, just let it stand for a couple of minutes so that it's, it's not at 100 degrees C. You need to have it about 95 degrees C. Um, once, once you've done that, all you do then is you just pour the water into the cup and then you place the tea bag in it and you let it sit there for about three to five minutes depending on how strong you want your tea. When the tea is ready, it should look a golden brown colour as you, as you see here. So this is uh, now ready to drink. So. Please uh, tell me what you think of the tea, of the sour soft herbal tea. Mm. Mm. Good. It's good. It's good. What's the smell too? The tea will actually taste a little bit like a, a breakfast tea, but a, a 
a diluted breakfast tea with a slight malty kind of a taste. So it's very easy to drink and the health benefits are numerous. If you'd like to know about the health benefits of uh, Soursop Herbal Tea, then I recommend that you take a look at uh, another video which will be released uh, shortly after this one. So uh, thank you for watching, thank you for visiting the Herbal Tea Production Facility and we hope to see you again in the next video. Bye for now everybody. Bye. See you again. See you You know what I think we should get some of that sour soft tea. What you reckon? You know what darling? That sounds like a good idea. <laughs>